Hello friends, let us learn about making Google Meets and sending invitation through Google Meet and also live streaming the program. If you have a Google account, please open that. For example, I'll use my Google account. Click the nine dots here. So I am already logged in using my Gmail account. So when I click the nine dots, I can see an option called calendar here. So click on calendar. And you can see calendar is opened. Click on some date, any date on the left hand side here. For example, I can say first, first June. So there is no event here saved for first June. Click on create. So now I will be able to create an event. So you can put some event like mm, workshop. So when does the event start? Starts on June 1st from some time. So you can change the time here just like this. So you can start it at 9 a.m. suppose and you can end it at 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. You can even change the date if you want. If you want your meeting to be continued. I mean, if you are organizing a workshop for three days or four days or if you are doing an FTP for five days or six days or you might be doing a refresher course for two weeks so you can start a date like June 1st and you can ha also start another date like June 6th so the meeting will start at June 1st and it will end on 6th June so it will start at 9 a.m. on June 1st it will end at 6 p.m on June 6. Now here, instead of doing everything in this small screen, we can go for more options. So in more options, you can change the title, you can put the event, and you have an option called Add Google Meet Video Conferencing. So click on this button, and now there is a Google meet you can see the code here meet.google.com h a o z t d c my g c n and you can also see this is showing up to 100 participants so for any gmail account which does not have a g suit then the number of participants is limited to 100 but if you have a G Suite or if your institutional email has a G Suite account, for that, this participant number will change to 250. Now, you can not take change it as notification like 30 minutes in advance. I mean, the notification starts from 8.30. So if you don't want 30 minutes, you can change it like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So I can put like 10 minutes, I can change it. I can have some description here. Welcome to the workshop. Please join by 8 30 a.m regards you can also attach files using this you can browse from your computer from your drive you can upload you can upload videos or any other files you you, you can change this and then you can create a link or you can insert any link here so you can you can write whatever you want to send the people now here, these are the options. So if I click modify the event, 
whoever has been sent an invitation will be able to modify the event. So if you don't want that others modify your event, just tick it off and then invite others and see guest list. So if I remove this, they will not be able to invite others. And if I remove this, they will not be able to see the guest list. So you can add up to 100, 100 people here. Uh, example, I can add my own address. See, I have added Hima P. I can, I can add somebody else. See, these people have been added here. I can even remove them. I can save them. And at the end, I should say save. So this meeting is saved. And an email will be sent to the participants who were added in your email list. And you have a meeting code right here. So I say join with Google Meet and it will be opened. You can say join now and you're there. 